Okay, now we finish talking about inspiration. Let's talk about expiration. As we said before, expiration is a passive process, which means doesn't consume energy compared to inspiration, which is an active process require muscle contraction and consume energy. So let's take a closer look what happened in expiration. So this is inspiratory limb as we explained before and this is expiratory limb now the ventilator pushed the air in and now the cycle kicked in here and terminated the breath announcing now the beginning of expiration remember now in the alveoli the pressure has been building up because of the airflow once the ventilator terminate the positive pressure during expiration this pressure at the proximal airways will become less compared to the alveoli right now the air will passively flow from alveolar pressure here to the proximal airway pressure here which is small also the ventilator here as soon as inspiration finish, it will close the valve here and open the expiration valve to allow the air to flow here. Now look here. As you see, the expiration is kind of way longer than inspiration. And that's most of the time, uh, that's usually in healthy adults, the expiration is longer than inspiration. So let me take this example of somebody breathing 10 minutes per, uh, sorry, uh, 10 times per minute. That, mean respite, um, that means um, uh, the whole inspiratory and expiratory cycle will be 60 divided by 10, which means 6 seconds. So this will be from here to here, 6 seconds, the whole cycle, inspiratory and expiratory cycle. To calculate expiratory time, simply this will equal 6 seconds minus inspiratory time. Now, inspiratory time will be decided based on the mode that we pick because sometimes we directly pick the inspiratory time based on the cycle. Sorry, we just picked, right? So we said we put the uh, directly the inspiratory time or when we use the volume, so if you have a volume, let's say 500 um, cc, and you have a, a flow of 60 liter per minute, you will know because this is 60 liter per 60 seconds. I mean, one liter per minute. That mean half, um, one liter per minute, uh, sorry, per second, that mean half liter, Per half a second right if I'm good in mathematics so that you know what's the inspiratory time and then you can simply subtract it from this and find what's the expiratory time and that bring us to what we call I E ratio that's why it's less than one because the expiratory time is um, less uh, more than expiratory time that's why you see one to two one to one point five one to three and this we'll talk about it later on that you see always the expiratory time is longer in some cases we inverse the this ratio for very specific indications but i just want you to know this is inspiration time, expiration time, expiration time is longer, and that's why the IE ratio. And I'm sure we will talk about these things more down the road.